Hi team. We're here to talk about our very first uh, entire body system in human physiology. And we're starting with a review from the last session on some really important concepts regarding pathways. And hopefully that was review for you, that, or, or at least it was a comfortable introduction to the idea of, of physiological pathways that can possibly feed back and inform the original stimulus. But make sure that you're comfortable with this concept because today we're going to talk about the endocrine system. And if you remember, we had two different systems that were essentially responsible for receiving incoming stimuli and coordinating the action, the necessary action. One of the systems is the endocrine system. It's what we're dealing with today. The other system is the nervous system, and I don't know, we've got like three or four lectures just on the nervous system. So we're going to put these two together and, and look at them as pathway integrators. Today's task is to look at how exactly special components of the endocrine system that enable this communication. But before we get started diving into endocrine phenomena, we're going to compare and contrast the endocrine system and the nervous system. It kind of serves as a little bit of a, an introduction to the whole concept of these integrators because uh, we spend a lot of time looking at how they function in physio. That's the class that you're in right now. Okay, let's talk about, let's compare our control systems.